first of all, sorry if there's any mic clicks or pops. I don't know how to get rid of them. I think it might have to do with the fact that I'm using a very standard headphones plug-in mic. You know, on a gaming headset or something. Anyways, I don't hate Scarlet and Violet. I currently made it up to the fifth gym or so, along with three each of the other side quests. Anyways, um, I wanted to discuss and sort of go over one of the, um, Pokemon designs that I'm not a big fan of from Scarlet and Violet. Now, don't get me wrong, I actually really like some of these designs, like Flora Gato, the Panda Mouse and Mousehold, because I think they're actually really funny, the Nackley line. right into it, I started out with a couple of sketches for uh, little draft designs to try to figure out what direction I really wanted to go in. So I started by tracing the main pose of the main, of the main Miascarada art I could find and then just going to town on it. So the first one I decided to make the paws more like dark gloves and to shrink and darken the mask. 
while also adding a slit in the ear and fancying up the fancying up the collar so that it looked more like a bandit scarf. The second version I mostly based off of an orchid flower. I, you can tell by the shape of the mask and the overall shape of the petals. And if this was going to be the one that I chose, it would have been colored with a lot more purple and pink than the actual design. And also, it sort of almost looks kind of like Tuxedo Mask or something. I have never watched Sailor Moon. And because of that, I might instead call it something else, like, I don't know, the Hawk Moth design. Okay, the third design I mostly based off of a sketch I did at 9 p.m. This design was mostly based off of Flora Gatto's base design rather than Yasgarada's design overall. So I leaned more into the mischievousness and the larger eyes, cuter design overall, more spikes, more roughed up fur. Regardless, that's how it came out. The fourth design was more, I guess the best way to describe it is Masquerade and Jester, where I leaned into a little bit of imp and devil inspirations by making the ears look more like horns and sort of making the mask look more like the one from Phantom of the Opera, Asymmetry and all, and then adding more of a shawl design and almost bat-like ends to the ends of the cape scarf. So, I guess it would sort of be the more gothic design. I don't really like it though, unfortunately. So, for the fifth design, I sort of went back and decided to do more of a magician look with a waistcoat and making the ear and hair tuft look kind of like a witch hat. This design I do think looks a little more like Tuxedo Mask. However, it also sort of was designed to look like the Elite Four member, Will. I'm not sure how close I got with it, but I, I did it. There are my five designs. I ended up sending them to a couple Discord friends just to get some evaluation. And uh, you can see what happened there. <laughs> Eventually, I sort of went with design C while also taking a couple cues from design A. To start with, can I just say that I do all of my art on Fire Alpaca. This is because I'm very cheap and I don't want to spend money on something like, I don't know, Photoshop or Clip Studio. And considering that I have even fewer subscribers than my sister who's only had YouTube for a month, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get a sponsorship anytime soon. Or be monetized, actually. So anyway, yeah, I use Fire Alpaca for the art and the Pokemon style brushes, which is not the sketch brush that is currently being used. The sketch brush is just one of the default brushes on Fire Alpaca, but the Pokemon brushes, I was able to get them online by Midnight Sketch on DeviantArt. Now, I did have to use this program to extract the images so that it would actually work with Fire Alpaca, and then did a lot of fudging afterwards, but anyway, yeah. So anyway, the main differences are starting with the head. The mask design is very different, with the peaks being a lot lower and the actual design on the face being different. The eye holes and eyes are larger. The mask itself has some eyeliner because that was pretty common in masquerade masks. Also, I got rid of the weird cheek fluff stuff and replaced it by having the ears be larger and moved downwards. So it sort of fills in for that silhouette. The neck collar was also moved downwards a bit so it looked less like a popped out clown collar. The scarf is mostly the same, although the front hound has some stripes and also two flowers on it. I think this is supposed to be a reference to magicians keeping the flower in their pocket. Now, until I started doing the line art, the arms were mostly undecided, although eventually I decided to sort of go with inverse fluffing them so that the fluff 
is more pronounced on the outside of the arm. You'll see it. And also, it's to more emulate um, long gloves. The main reason for this is because I wanted to differentiate this from Florigato, which was one of my main problems with my initial draft. And other than that, not much. And then went on to coloring. So I ended up just mixing my own colors, although I did take some inspiration from the official artwork colors. So the, the gre main green, which turned out to be a very light cyan, was changed completely into a light lime green, which was more on the yellow side, and also a bit more saturated. The, the dark green was also a little bright, and I added a medium green to sort of add a little bit more color. However, the pink mostly stayed the same. Other than adding some gradients and doing shading, it was mostly finished. So yeah. Other than sh now, the shading process ends up, up with usually with me takes the long longest time. So it's but it's also the one that's the least fun to talk about. So I'm probably just gonna skim through it a bit. Let the music take control and just let it go. Anyway, here's the final design. What do you guys think? Personally, I think it's a bit of an improvement, but I mean, I can't speak for... <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not a professional and I can't speak for um, all people with my design, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Kind of looks like a bandit while also being a trickster and a magician. A little bit of those medieval vibes. And anyway, just for a comparison, I'll just put up a picture of the official Yask Arda design. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I don't know what else to say. I feel like there's something that most you, that almost every YouTuber says that I just can't recall out of my own head now. Well, anyway, I have plans for um, a future video once I actually finish Scarlet and Violet of drawing my drawing my entire team and not just the main six members who defeat the Elite Four and all that good stuff or whatever the end game is. My sister told me it's not defeating the Elite Four, 
But anyway, just all of the members who ended up being pretty impactful throughout the playthrough. Also, I'm probably gonna draw them as humans because it's a bit more tiring to draw Pokemon. I don't know. Well, logging off. See ya.